Well, here we are, our Christmas edition, Christmas Day 2009 of City News. With me from McClellan Vizik Optometrist, Sir Tony Bland, welcome. Hey, you going there? Merry to Christmas you. to you, too. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. Had a good day? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Just been relaxing with the family, and it's been really nice. Was Santa good to you? Yeah, yep, always. Yeah, always. Always. As long as I behave. You must have been a good boy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, last time you were in, we talked a little bit about uh, eye care through summer, and the uh, topic of diabetes came up. Yeah, that's right. I thought it was probably important to, to delve a little bit more into that. So, what is the problem? Well, the, the main thing that happens with diabetes is we kind of have a, a limited supply of insulin in our bodies. And that's what's used to help um, maintain our energy levels. So the, the, what we eat is converted into, into, into sugars in the blood, and that's then taken into our cells. And if we run out of insulin, that our body is less able to do so, and that can, that's what can lead to diabetes. Um, the most common causes are usually um, if we're a little overweight, had a little too much Christmas dinner, mm -hmm. and just generally maybe being less active. So... You know, perhaps um, quite commonly nowadays we tend to take in a little more energy than what we need in our diet and put on a bit of weight. And then, you know, over a long period of time, sometimes that can lead to diabetes. So what, I mean, what effect, if, if, if you go to the doctor, you have your blood test and uh, you discover you have diabetes, is it naturally going to affect the eye? Not necessarily. Um, the main aim of management is quite a team effort. So the idea of managing diabetes is the GPs and the practice nurses and the specially trained diabetic nurses as well work quite closely with the patient to try and keep their um, blood sugar levels steady. And the steadier that they keep them, the better off they are in the long run. And what's known is that if the sugar levels fluctuate too much and aren't so well controlled, then that can cause damage to the retina and the eye and also to the feet and also commonly to the organs in the body, particularly the kidneys and the liver as well. And so quite a bit of effort has gone into um, managing and maintaining those um, sugar levels and educating people to look after those things. So they visit the doctor regularly and have the blood tests to um, see how their sugar levels are going, how the kidney, kidneys and liver are doing. And then we typically see them every couple of years to photograph their retinas and see if there's any changes and they have their feet checked as well. Now, the, the, the retinal screening, the photograph, I mean, the, you know, this is a fairly big machine. Yes. Is it scary? Yeah, no, no, it's quite, quite easy to do and really straightforward. The machine's actually just a regular camera. The fancy part is the lens is actually designed to focus right in through the pupil, which is the black spot in the middle of your iris. That's basically a window into the back of your eye. And effectively, that just gives us a really good view of the retina at the back of your eye. And um, there's a photograph that can be seen where... Um, basically you see pretty much like an orange disc, which is what the retina looks like when looking into the eye itself. As you imagine, if you're up really, really close to someone mm -hmm. and had a look in through their pupil, that's what you'd see. So you'll see like a, the, the optic nerve is a white disc off to the right-hand side in the normal eye, and there's an area in the middle called the macula that's the point of your sharpest vision that you use when you're reading. And your eye is the only place as well that you can see your blood vessels unless you can open up and have an operation. So we see your arteries and your veins inside and see how they're looking. Well, it's quite a clever little machine, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's very clever. And the advantage being digital is we can show people how their eyes are looking straight away. So we find that's great. So basically the process is they come in and we put some drops in their eyes to dilate their pupils, which gives us a much better view inside. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know, we're able to show them how their eyes are looking and, and you know, most of the time it's fine. And then the idea is there are early changes in the diabetic eye, you can start to see a few um, little blood spots that indicate that the, the blood vessels may be leaking because what happens if the sugar levels fluctuate too much, the blood vessels actually get damaged and the blood doesn't flow as readily around through the retina as it should do and you see little leakage spots inside the retina. And um, if left untreated, that can lead to scarring in the retina which can cause blindness in the long run. So the idea is, again, we want to catch that early because it's much easier to do something about treating it at an early stage and less expensive in the long run um, than leaving it and not doing anything about it. That's is the main it, aim. Is it a common problem? Um, what happens is usually it's common if people aren't looking after themselves in terms of the diabetes. So most diabetic patients, the majority, you know, if their sugar levels are steady the majority of the time, we have, we, you know, are, are perfectly normal. And we only see them, we only need to photograph their uh, retinas every two years because the research shows that your eyes won't change that quickly mm -hmm. if generally things are fairly steady. And all that happens is we start to see a few changes that we're concerned about, we shorten down that interval and keep a closer watch on it. And then if there are more significant changes that occur, then we'll refer them off to the eye specialists and, and, and have a look, and, and uh, they'll treat the retina and make, you know, try to slow down the changes that are occurring. Because what were the, I mean, the figures here, 
what were those figures? Because they're quite, the increase is huge. Yes, the, um, in 2002, that, what happens is there's a database kept of the diabetic patients from Rotorua um, in order to make sure that all those people are getting the treatment that they should be to, to you know, help them out. And so in 2002, there's 1,370 people registered. But by July of this year, that number had almost doubled to 2,600. And um, in talking to the people that manage the database, there um, are about 20 new diagnoses of um, diabetes in Rotorua every month. So wow. you could almost think of that as one every kind of working day of the week or something like that, which, uh, you know, if left unchecked, the health system will get overwhelmed. So the idea is, is that, you know, we can um, try and intervene early and, and help people out in the long run too, and then, uh, you know, also try and minimise the cost to the health system too. And, if it keeps increasing at that rate, it's going to be a pretty significant issue. We'll fall over. Hmm. Um, now, we've got to finish quickly, but um, update your details, for goodness sake. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, one thing we really want people to work on is that if they move, to please, please let the doctor know uh, that they've changed their address because we like to be able to get in touch with them every couple of years when their photographs are due, and that's the main thing that often stops us getting in touch with people. Because when you move, you've got a big list of... Absolutely. To change, so, so yeah. put the doctor on it. Yes, they don't have to contact us directly, just their doctor's fine. Um, Tony, thanks for coming in. Great, and thanks I'll very much. And you get back to your family. Yeah, and cheers. your ham and your... Uh, and likewise, you have a great Christmas too. We'll do indeed, and we'll catch up in the new year. Yeah, great, thanks. Stage. Cool. Uh, Tony from uh, McClellan, the Zeke optometrist talking diabetes. Um, uh, up next, we talk at rock shop. We talk music. We talk music uh, as in kids wanting to get into it. As